Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Let me show you how easy it is to inspect and possibly replace your cabin or air conditioner, air filter on this 2008 Toyota 4Runner. I got it all prepped for you, alright, so you don't waste your time. So we are going on the passenger side and the air conditioning or cabin filter, whatever you want to call it, is hiding behind that glove box. So you have to open the glove box and the next step is using Phillips screwdriver and remove that little screw which is right here. So I will go ahead right, and really quickly remove that screw and the reason for it is to be able to remove the glove box. So the screw is off right here. Now I can push away this shock which is for slowing down the lowering and closing the glove box and now with both hands I will push this way inside on the sides of the glove box and that lets me nicely lower it like this. And let me show you, I will move the camera for you, let me show you where that cabin filter is hiding. So let's go off, right? And it's down there, do you see that? So if you take hand and there is like a clip on the both sides. And you do the other side the same way, click, right? You heard it. And look, the whole tray comes out. And look at this. This one definitely needs to be replaced. There's a lot of dirt in it. I don't have the owner here. But all I can do for them, right, just do a little bit of cleaning in the garbage can or I can take a vacuum. And obviously if your filter is so dirty, right, you can see the other side. If your filter is so dirty, I will highly recommend you to replace it. So let's go really quickly put it back. I believe they are coming soon to pick up this forerunner. And look, it's very easy. Just find that opening there, right, and start sliding it in, right, and it will click on both sides. Whoop! This one didn't do the audible click, but if I pull on it, I know it's safely in the place and it's perfectly ready to serve again. Now that glove box, putting it back, right, it's very easy. I just pay attention to this unit, which is right here. So, I will bring it up, click, click, the other side, right? I put that shock right here on top of it and install back that very little screw which holds that lowering shock and closing in the place. Now I can close the glove box, glove box excuse me, and I'm done. Wasn't that fast and easy? I hope you find this video helpful and please make sure you are subscribed because I have ton of Toyota Tech coming your way on this channel soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.